Speedy Goja Sewata. Okay, this traditional caddy was built to honor E. Onja, also known as Peja Sensei. That's our that's our hero. That, that's the man for whom our tombstone is a 17th generation descendant. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you know Eon Junk? Have you heard that name before? Mm -hmm. no. mm -mm. He's one of the men you met in the eight, one of the 18 you met in the Sungyungwar. He's one of the 18. Okay, so he's of that caliber. Speaking of which, when we met uh, the when we met the Tokchan Soan and talking about Nam Young and yeah. what a great scholar he was, Nam I Yang said to them when we were walking along in private, why is it that he didn't get selected for the Sungyungwar? And they, in effect, said, yeah, wasn't that some rip-off, you know? But, and they said, in effect, it's all political, don't you know? So Nam Young is on the cusp of being ad admitted to the Sun Yung Gun, but he was admitted to the Sun Yung Gun, okay? One of the, not admitted to, one of the 18 scholars enshrined at the Sun Yung Gun, okay? Uh, he was a prominent neo confucian scholar in the 16th century, Tosin, whose pioneering thinking influenced Yi Huang. Yi really, Huang? Um, here we go. Tege. 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 I know I said that right after and then said it. Who is known <laughs> as Korea's Jushi? Who's Jushi? Jushi? If Yi Wong is Korea's Jushi, who is Jushi? Jushi is the person that brought Korea to Jushi. An was the scholar that brought Jushi to Korea. Okay, so you, you got it halfway there. When we went to the Sosu So one, that was where An Hyang brought Jushi to Korea. And where Chu Se Bung, who built the shrine to An Hyang, Chu Se Bung had gone to China and seen Chu Xi's shrine and said, hey, we need one like that here. We need a So one here. So the whole idea of So one is, is copying Chu Xi in China. And who's Chu Xi? The father of Neo-Confucianism. Neo okay. So, Korea's Jushi. Eon Juk is enshrined at Chongyo Royal Shrine in Seoul. Have you been there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah one yeah. of the first three UNESCO World Heritage Sites, right? Now, wait a minute. That's a shrine for the, the kings. What's a, what's a scholar like this doing there? In each of the king's shrine, they enshrined one or two of the great scholars that worked with him. So he was one of the best scholars at the time of his king, and the king had him enshrined with him, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, the king was Myeongjong. Uh, Myeongjong was also Whoa. the king during the time of, of Nam Young, our Dokchan Sowan guy, our Dokchan uh, Sowan. And uh, this academy was founded by E. J. Amin, the magistrate of Kyungjo, the request of local literati. In 1574, King Sunjo bestowed a hanging board on this private academy inscribed in his own hand with the four Chinese characters, Ok San So One. Why is that significant? That the king did it. It's set in stone. Later, when they destroyed all the 47, this was one of the 47. Preserved. Thenceforth, known by this name, Ok San So One is one of the royally chartered, because the king signed the board, private academies. <laughs> In 1871, Taewon-gun, the father of King Kojong, shuttered all but 47 private academies across the country. Ok San and so on is one of the 47 that survived. Ok San so on is representative of the early style of academic, uh, academic architecture. Okay, the gate leads to, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Eon Jok then was one of the great scholars of the Chosen period, and this is one of the great so on. And we always like to come here across the bridge. Because when I first came here, we came across the bridge. But you know what? We could have driven right up here. <laughs> well, good choice. But it's a lot nicer to come this way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That was cool. It's way cool. And you can see some frogs. Let's go inside. Okay. Okay. <laughs>